In response to COVID-19, the government of Alberta has created a new agriculture training support program. It's to help employers in the food supply chain provide necessary training to new Alberta employees. As part of the Canadian Agricultural Partnership Risk Management Programs, this program will improve the agriculture and agri-food sector's ability to anticipate, mitigate and prepare for risks that could have a major financial impact on the livestock and plant industries or affect human health and safety. Alberta is partnering with the Government of Canada to provide employment support programs and services through the Labour and Immigration's Workforce Development Agreement and through Agriculture and Forestry's Canadian Agricultural Partnership. This program is administered by Alberta Agriculture and Forestry. This job training support complements the launch of Alberta's Agriculture Job Connector, a web resource to help agriculture employers looking for workers connect with job seekers. This presentation will review the program's purpose, eligible applicants, and eligible activities, eligible expenses, funding levels, and where to get more information. The purpose of the Agriculture Training Support Program is to provide support to the agricultural and horticultural businesses and services to help address the impact of COVID-19. The program will provide a grant to eligible employers to offset the costs of training and ensuring safety protocols are in place for new employees hired from the available domestic labour pool. In short, the program is intended to support costs for COVID-19 safety procedures training and personal protective equipment and help remove any barriers to getting Albertans safely working. By providing up to $5 million in support to farmers, agribusinesses and food processors, the program helps offset the cost to train each employee safely in their new agricultural roles during the COVID-19 pandemic. The program will support training for as many as 2,500 new jobs in Alberta. Eligible applicants include individuals, corporations, registered partnerships and other organizations, including Hutterite colonies, members of Indian bands and members of Métis settlements. Eligible applicants must operate essential services, agricultural and horticultural, and produce at least $10,000 worth of agricultural or horticultural farm commodity or processed food and beverage product annually. The following entities are not eligible under this program. Government organizations, universities, research stations, nonprofit organizations including industry organizations and entities involved in aquaculture. Eligible activities include training for new hire employees in the area of COVID-19 safety procedures, including physical distancing as defined by Alberta Health Services, proper hand washing and other steps to prevent the spread, proper use of personal protective equipment if required, proper disinfection of equipment, buildings and facilities, requirements for self-reporting of symptoms of COVID-19 to the employer, and the process for confidential reporting of infractions for sections 1 to 5 above to the employer. Also, training for new hire employees in occupational health and safety, and or training for new hire employees in work-related duties and activities. Note that all projects must include activities listed under A and at least one of B or C. Eligible expenses include reasonable costs for job training and education of a new hire employee. This includes, but is not limited, to occupational health and safety certifications. Training of work-related duties and activities, including third-party costs related to the development or delivery of training. Implementation of COVID-19 protocols such as physical distancing. And the purchase of personal protective equipment. Other eligible expenses include incremental applicant costs for new measures directly related to the new hire employee as a direct result of COVID-19 restrictions. Incremental applicant costs for the new hire employee to ensure awareness of any existing and revised federal or provincial legal requirements as it relates to COVID-19. Costs of activities and supplies to prevent COVID-19 outbreaks among workers and or expenses to develop, deliver, adapt, implement, promote, 
and communicate COVID-19 training and education. And incremental and reasonable travel accommodation expenses for travel within Alberta directly related to the approved eligible expenses, as set out in the Alberta-Canadian Agricultural Partnership Travel Expense Policy, posted on the Alberta-Canadian Agricultural Partnership website. Expenses that are ineligible under this program include, but are not limited to, goods and services tax, GST, provincial sales tax, PST, and harmonized sales tax, HST. Also, financing fees and interest charges, legal fees, expenses for construction and or purchase of land, buildings, roads, or vehicles. Expenses incurred in transactions between individuals who are related to each other by blood, marriage, adoption, common law relationships, or persons with close business ties. Any services, business, and operations that do not satisfy the descriptions of the agricultural and horticultural category on the list of essential services. This includes, but is not limited to, food service like restaurants and other food preparation facilities, and retail service like businesses engaged in the retail and wholesale of food, pet food and supplies, and household consumer products necessary to maintain the safety, sanitation and essential operations of residences and business, including grocery stores, supermarkets, convenience stores, markets and other similar retailers. Other expenses that are ineligible include costs for normal day-to-day -day operations and general office equipment, as well as overhead, salary or wage support, and maintenance costs. Costs funded through any other federal, provincial, or municipal government grants, programs, or projects. And expenses incurred by the applicant outside of the project term. This program provides funding support at 100% to cover eligible expenses for approved applications. The maximum contribution of funding is $2,000 per new employee hired, with a maximum of $50,000 per applicant. Funding will be provided as a grant. 80% of the maximum approved grant amount will be provided upon execution of a grant agreement the remaining 20% after all eligible expenses have been incurred and training has been completed. For more information, visit cap.alberta.ca. There you will find program information, frequently asked questions, announcement subscriptions, and how to apply. You can also email cap.riskmanagement at gov.ab.ca. You can email cap.alberta at gov.ab.ca. And you can also call 310 Farm. That's 310 3276.